So this is the particular hardness machine where we will move to the next one which is a Vickers hardness tester very widely used in industrial application for measuring very hard materials uh, hardness like uh, ceramics uh, very thin materials like say, high speed steels and other kinds of alloy steels. This machine uses optical means to find the hardness uh, with a small indenter which is a uh, pyramid type indenter we have a separate relations to find the hardness in both these Grinnell and uh, Vickers hardness test. So we will move to the next uh, very small important machine very easy to find the hardness wherein we will be directly reading the hardness on the scale of the um, what you call the machine it is called Rockwell hardness scale we have B scale, C scale and other scales to identify the various uh, materials hardness using different kinds of indenter like 1 by 8, 1 by 16th and even diamond cone indenter. So this machine will not use any electric power, you can easily get the direct reading of the materials hardness. We move on to the next uh, machine which is a smaller uh, miniature one which is called a muffle furnace widely used in heat treatment processes. Heat treatment plays a very important role in improving the properties of the material uh, like uh, ductility, even strength and hardness. So in order to do the heat treatment process, we will be placing the specimen inside the furnace. We will heat it according to the uh, type of heat treatment we will be carrying out and there, there, thereby you can tailor the materials for various industrial applications. Uh, this is what we call it as muffle furnace. Then we'll move on to the next machine, which is a fatigue testing machine. Why it's used to determine the fatigue strength? We also call it as endurance strength of the material. This fatigue testing machine is widely used in industries to identify the endurance strength of a given material using an SM curve, which we can draw and thereby identify the endurance strength. Generally, for ferrous materials, we'll have a horizontal uh, curve or asymptotic to the x-axis, like one million cycles. Uh, wherein we can identify the endurance strength of the given material. For non ferrous material it is quite difficult. But there is a lot of uh, uh, preparation for the material to be tested on this particular testing machine like the finish and uh, other conditions. Next machine, the last one we have is the polishing machine widely used for metallographic studies to identify the microstructure of the material. We, it will undergo a different stages like cutting, grinding and polishing apart from etching. So polishing plays an important role to identify the grinds and other uh, details of the material and apart from that we will do the etching and clearly we can identify the various micro details of the given material. So this is all about this particular lab for the various machines we have used, we will be using in the coming semester. Thank you.